Oh, so I uh, just got out of Deadpool not too um, long ago. You can check my Instagram for um, some things about that. Of course, all that's down there in the description box and, you know, annotated and stuff. But, um, yeah, Deadpool was awesome. Um, definitely one of the funniest movies I've seen so far this year. Action, action was great. Uh, huh. Um, definitely the start of the superhero season. I thought Deadpool would just kind of be like, you know, sort of like the filler, you know, sort of like feed us until we get the bigger stuff, you know, like BVS, Civil War, you know, all that other stuff. I thought I, I consider it just that, you know sort of giving us something before we get the big stuff but nah it started it it started it um it's really ramping up Deadpool pff, yeah, really liked it really enjoyed it. um now I was not the biggest fan of Deadpool before I saw this movie um I want to say back in about the like 20 around like 2013 absolutely hated the character i thought he was it was also kind of due to that video game i thought he was played out i thought his jokes were kind of lame and not necessarily uh, i didn't find his jokes very funny I, I thought he was more of a played out character that only appealed to like a certain audience you know people who were like all about you know making like dumb jokes and stuff but over time, I started to see more of the character, started to understand him, start to see that he is the way he is because of the things he's going through. He only makes jokes so much because he, that's him trying to get through the pain and all that. And I kind of think you do see that in a movie now. Of course, I'm about to get into spoilers at about this part before I get into that. Like I said, I give it a... 9 out of 10. The Ashman is great. Definitely one of the funniest movies I've seen this year. Laugh so much. But, um, yeah, it's getting to spoilers. So, please leave if you have not seen the movie. I don't want to spoil it for you. But if you're one of those people who actually like to get movies spoiled, uh, then, hey, that's you. But, yeah, um, I think you really felt that angle with Deadpool that he makes those jokes because of all the pain he's going through. When he's going to, uh, Vanessa, or trying to, like, right after he, um, gets out of the rubble. And you see him going there, but you see all these people looking at him and and just giving him that look like, whoa, Ooh, this guy is messed up. Uh, you know, sort of seeing him as like some, not necessarily a monster, but this ugly freak. And that kind of, you know, got to him. That's why he didn't want to go to Vanessa because he thought that um, uh, she would do the same. Which, um, by the end of the movie, you see that she doesn't necessarily feel that way. I thought by the end of the movie... She was going to, like, take the mask off and be like, wow, oh, uh, you you really are effed up. But um, it was just sort of like, wow. She kind of stood there, paused, took it in, and, you know, just took it as weight. Took it as weight was in the man she fell in love with. Um, the movie, oh, the, the movie is not serious at all. What I recommend you take, no, I do not take children to this movie, please, um, I would say the age, due, due, due to the things that I've experienced in life and all that, I would say a proper age is about 14 at best, because I don't, I don't think you should take like a 10 or 8 year old to this movie, definitely not, because I know a lot of people, like Deadpool said in the movie, um, you probably told your girlfriend or something that this was a superhero movie. And then it's like, well, you're wrong. As you know, you see him stabbing the guy and they're actually showing it and all that. Yeah, definitely. Um, even when I was walking out, I, I even heard this one person say something about, um, yeah, if you take the kids to this, you're definitely going to give them nightmares <laughs> because of all the blood and stuff and all that. Um, that, that was a lot of sex scenes. Not a lot of sex scenes, but, you know, it went on for a bit. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, it was kind of just silent, just people kind of observing it, being like, well, okay, oh, 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 okay, but I definitely didn't really feel a lot with the movie, um, 
Yeah, it's probably definitely one of my favorites this, so far this year. I can't really say that yet because it's just February. Um, you know, but speaking of that, it's like a lot of superhero movies are taking over. Because you remember, because as people know, January, February, and March are all kind of that kind of those months that they just throw all the bad movies out, you know, just throw all the bad crappy movies that everyone's going to forget by the time the year is over. Um, and then, you know, by April it starts ramping up. And so that's that. But mm, I really enjoy it. Uh, where do I start? Where do I start? Of course, the opening and all that. How, how it opens. Oh, I, I absolutely loved how they did it. Um, but by doing the titles and all that, by like, you know, not even calling them by their names, just by saying stuff like they call, like, it, it was like one of those, like, comic relief, and then it was like another one being like, um, what was it, like, average, something about, something about, um, teenager that has to do with that Sonic Teenage Warhead, uh, you know, Colossus, I think they said Brute, the, or Muscle or something like that, but, you know, and they called, um, Vanessa, like, the pretty, they called them all something. I can't remember them all. Oh, yeah, and they called Ajax uh, British villain. <laughs> and Ajax definitely had a lot of funny moments, especially <laughs> the part where Deadpool said, oh, he got his name off of the... <laughs> he got his name off of dish soap. <laughs> oh, oh, off of dish soap, Ajax. Just running with Francis and he got that on this soap. Oh. That was funny. Um, my favorite joke I'm gonna say was definitely the part I, I just died when they said this. Um, when Deadpool came to the house to um get their help in order to go rescue Vanessa, and he's just like, "Wow, why is there always two of you?" I guess they can't afford another X Men, and I just started dying, being like, "He is so right." Oh, that, that was literally just the funniest thing. Uh, oh, man, but, um, yeah, definitely one of the great funny scenes in the movie. I can't go over everything because then it's really going to be a bit too long. Um, yeah, they did the origin in a good way. You know, they kind of flashed back and forward for a bit until, like, I would say, close to the end or in somewhere in the middle of the second half was when they started when it was when they kind of um ended all the flashbacks and stuff and showing the origin and all that but um yeah really really good colossus they did colossus great thank god like like a lot of people have said they colossus did in a whole movie what Brian Singer couldn't do a Colossus in the entire X-Men franchise. Um, yeah, hats off to that. Hats off to them actually doing an X-Men costume with color with Negasonic Teenage Warhead. That was just great. Of course, Colossus um, suit looks great, too. Um, a lot of the you Jackman jokes are great, especially the part where, he take, where Vanessa takes off the mask and before, you know, she actually sees his face, it's this picture of Hugh Jackman attached to his face, um, which I thought was great. And uh, especially the other part where he said, who, who, who's, um, he said something about who's like, who did I have to, um, whose balls did I have to mess with or something like that to get this? And he said it rhymes with um, something. He said something about it, it, rhymed, it rhymed with something with the uh, Hugh Jackman's name, which I thought was another great moment. Uh, yeah, the action was definitely great. Uh, theater was pretty packed. Um, mm, surprisingly, but not, you know, because a, a lot of adults are really the ones that go and see these movies because, of course, they had the m more money to see it and all that. But, um, yeah, it was definitely... Um, Good audience in there. Great audience. It was it was great having that environment, having a packed audience. Like I don't think you should go to Deadpool, and the movie theater isn't is empty. I think if you go and see the movie, it should really be full. You should really get experience and and really capture that environment 
of just how funny this movie is because the movie is funny, but having an audience there to laugh with you makes it all that much better. Yeah, so, hmm. Um, of course, probably the end credit scene was amazing. There were quite a couple um, MCU references. Well, it was like two. I think the first one was when you said Captain Deadpool. Um, take that as you will. And then the second one was, of course, right in your face where he comes in at the end and he's, and he's pretty much just like, because he's trying to make fun of like end credit scenes and stuff. So he's like, oh, you're still here? What are you doing here? Go on. Movie's over. All right, bye. And then he was like, what do you, what are you expect? And Sam Jackson show up with an eye patch at the end? And I thought that was just great. Um, and then, of course, he basically kind of confirms that uh, Cable will be in the sequel, which is another thing I wanted to really talk about, how they can approach the sequel and how I hope they don't overdo Deadpool movies. And I'll get into that right now. Uh they can do a lot of interesting things to bring Cable into the next movie. They can do a lot of interesting things, and I'm really excited to see what they can do with that. Of course, the jokes are probably going to be even more funnier with him, you know, with time travel and all that. Uh, and, of course, they probably will have, like, a bigger budget due to, due to seeing how uh, successful this movie was. But, man, I kind of wanted to just stay what it is because a lot of times with movies is that the smaller the budget, sometimes the better it is because that makes them have to um, try even harder to uh, get stuff out. And the, um, it kind of pushes them to their limits and they really have to work beyond those. While I mean, with a bigger budget, has a has a bit of an easier time with that stuff. Um, yeah, so whew, 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 I, th- I really hope with the Deadpool sequel, they did. I hope with Deadpool, they don't drag out the movies, because one of the problems I've had with the character is that sometimes he gets kind of annoying, and sometimes his jokes get kind of uh, annoying and feel overdone. Like, I hope it doesn't become like a... (laughs) I hope it doesn't become like a family guy situation where the jokes just get old. I hope Deadpool can... um, Keep that up and know where to stop and don't let the money fool them. So, you know what, Deb, if they if they actually, you know, sort of keep, kept doing the sequels, Deadpool would probably make fun of that, being like, wow, they're really dragging this out. Hmm. Uh, I think you should stop seeing this. <laughs> he, he say something like that, probably. But, um, yeah, the fourth wall breaking was great. Um, the villain was, well, what I expected. I didn't expect much from Ajax. I expected him to be just your typical bad guy, you know, bad guy to be there. He served his purpose, which was fine. Uh, the fight between Colossus and Gina Carrado's character was um, great. I understood why Colossus was like that because Colossus has a thing about hitting women. He has a lot of respect for women due to his like due, due, due to his home and all that, and how he took care of his sister. And how he takes care of like Kitty Pryde and stuff. So Colossus has a lot of respect for women. So that's why he was holding back a lot. That's why Gina Carrado's character was able to get such was able to overpower him so easily because Colossus holds back against women. Now, if that was a man, Colossus would be going all out probably, and, and that'd be even more epic to see. Uh, we probably won't ever see something like that again due to um, how Brian Singer is. But if they could do something like that in a Deadpool sequel, I would absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, so overall, really great movie. Um, a lot of that's great, great performances. Of course, Ryan Reynolds was born for this role. Um, I can absolutely forgive him for Origins now because everyone knows Origins was complete trash. But uh, yeah, overall, like I said, nine out of ten. Absolutely love this movie. Definitely one of my favorite superhero movies. Um, um. I don't know if I put it in my top 10 or not. I'd have to think over it. But, yeah, absolutely love this. So, tell me what you guys think about this movie down in the comments below. And uh, what do you think of it? Did you enjoy Deadpool? Or did you feel differently about it? If so, tell me down below. So, uh, yeah, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Help me to help my channel out there. 
As always, Chris at Digit, and have a great day. Now, go eat fucking Jimmy Chunk.